Greetings, citizens of the internet! You can call me Nitro Indigo, and welcome back to my extremely riveting Let's Play Pokemon Issue Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, Sean rescued us, and then we recruited Kyogre for the power of restore points. And in this episode, we are going to find ways to unlock other dungeons. You see, I really don't like the post-game of this game because, basically, it's quite... Um, the post-game you can do it in any order, pretty much, but it's quite unintuitive as how to actually unlock things. And it feels like I just kind of unlock things by accident as a kid. Because it required it based on what HMs and friend areas you have. And today we are going to be getting some of those HMs and friend areas. And for the HMs um, we need to get, we're going to go to Solar Cave. And I'm not actually sure if we've unlocked it yet, so I'm going to go talk to Whiskash. But I'm also going to buy some of these friend areas. Cryptic Cave, I think, is something that we can't... For, has a Pokemon that we won't be able to unlock for a long time. Southern Island and Final Island both have legendaries associated with them, but we can't afford them, so... The dungeon we're going to go to has Beldum in it, so sure, let's get Magnetic Quarry. And since I have the money, I might as well get a few others. But I might also want to get some healing items, because I'm kind of low on items right now. And these two also unlock a dungeon, but you need both of them. Ooh, Mystic Lake, that's a nice name. Even one called, I'm actually not really sure what this is because even one called a Mirage makes this sound like it's a legendary friend area, but I can't think of a group of legendaries that comes in a four in Gen um, 3 because all the Trio Masters, as Famine calls them, even though I haven't heard that term in years and I've never really seen it used outside of Bulbapedia, um, obviously existed back then, but they all have different friend areas to their trios. And, oh, Shallow Beach sounds nice, but... Oh, Energetic Forest. That's the one with Pikachu and Skitty live in, if you had those as your starters. So if you had a P Skitty or a Pikachu partner, you'd only get one friend area out of the deal. So that kind of sucks, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure if any of the other Pokemon... Any, what, if um, any other Pokemon in um, Solar Cave live in, dun in friend areas that we can buy. So I'm just going to stop buying friend areas now. And I was about to put my money away until I realised that I was going to look in the shops. The jump... Oh, I shall miss them. Oh, so he's talking about jump puffs, so that means we've already unlocked Solar Cave then. Because you unlock it by talking to Wishcast after going to... Um, after unlocking Stormy Sea, not necessarily going to it. I almost called it something falls and I can't remember why. And also, in this um, for this dungeon, we need a Pokemon that can cross water in order to get some of the HMs. Um, and unfortunately, um, the only Pokemon I have that can cross water is Magnemite, which is quite weak. So I'm just going to bring him with me and hope that he doesn't die. I've also remembered I've got some gold ribbons to sell. And you can't select lots of things to sell in this game, as I've said before. But, um, there is a way to have any Pokemon cross any kind of terrain. It's called All-Terrain Hiker and it requires a lot of gummies to unlock. It's an IQ skill, so I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon. I remember when I first played this game, my Pikachu hero had like all 10 stars of IQ or something. It was ridiculous. Also, IQ is used to evolve Pokemon that evolve by um, friendship in the main games, sometimes in conjunction with some items that we haven't gotten yet. And I don't think I'll ever use this heal ribbon, but it might be useful one day, so I'll put it I won't use it, but it might be useful one day. The old ribbon I don't really like to use because it makes your belly empty faster. As does walking through what walls, which is something the ghost type Pokemon could do. Could do, can do. Present tense. I'm going to get a couple more orange berries, but we need to have empty spaces in our inventory in order to get these HMs and items. We need to get the HMs. Luckily, we'll find those items in the dungeon, so don't worry about it. And I might as well mention that you can also get rid of your protagonist Pokemon completely now from your team. Obviously, I don't know if you can actually dismiss them and I don't really want to try that, so I won't do that. But still. I haven't looked into I still haven't bought anything yet, have I? Oh, there's also Max Elixirs. Those are actually quite useful. So I'll get both of them by lots. I mean, there's two, but I was looking at it quickly and I just saw a bunch of huge apples. And the Joy Seed makes Pokemon level up, by the way, so that's definitely going to be helpful. I'm trying to accident. I was trying to write, wipe some spit off the game pads, and I that's why I accidentally opened the um, virtual console menu. Don't do any of these. So I'm going to go to my friend areas now. 
Um, Solar Cave has is entirely psychic type, so I think I'll bring Tempest as my leader. And in order to make a Pokemon a leader, I just remembered you actually have to go um, to talk to them and then set them as the leader. And then you also have to visit the your leader, current previous leader in their friend area in order to take them off. So bye for now, Indigo the Ivysaur. Ivysaur Digo, I guess. I don't know. And anyway, I'm going to get some black gummies and, and I think we have some yellow. Get some gummies out of my storage and then we're going to go to the dungeon. And also you can change the leader in the middle of the dungeon, except in Explorers for some reason. We also didn't have any g yellow gummies. Oh, well, I must call them green. That's not correct. <sighs> I'll get there eventually. I think Waterfall Pond is a really short dungeon, by the way, just so you can uh, recruit some Pokemon. Like, I think Magikarp is found there. I might even think that's something in Explorers. That's entirely possible. And Tempest has efficiency expert, but that's not really relevant because Tempest is the leader right now. I'm going to throw this joy seed at Magnemite, or Magneto rather, I forgot I'm calling him that for a moment. Bzzz, Magnemite leveled up. Oh my goodness, that's a really high HP gain. Apparently unevolved Pokemon gain more stats per level up than evolved Pokemon. So make of that what you will. I'm going to give him the special band and myself the stamina band because I might as well. And once again, we have the wonderful Lapis Cave music, which is so good they use it in almost every post-game dungeon. And just look at this riveting background. It looks like curry. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, I didn't know. Temp I forgot that Tempest New Ice Beam. Was I planning on using Tempest in Sky Tower or something and I just forgot about that? That's entirely possible because it's not a move that Absol learns by level up. And Metal Sun is actually really useful because this is Gen 3 and um, Dark type moves are special and jokes on you, Magneto's type doesn't get poisoned. And also the reason why there is a bit of a the, no effect sound when I use Ice Beam on um, Drowsy is because it has the ability Thick Fat which makes Ice type moves um, and Fire type moves do about half damage. I don't know why they use that sound effect instead of the it's not very effective one. And also in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, instead of saying that a Pokemon fainted, it said that they were knocked out or some was defeated, which is a bit unusual. Um, and I'm so KO'd because I played Explorers of Sky in French a few times, not very far into the game though. And it says that Pokemon Tombe KO and Tombe means fall over and it's in the infinitive for some reason. And I'm not sure if that's what they say in the main series either. So how high level is this giraffe rowit? Oh, well that's unfortunate. Thankfully there isn't anything I'm massively upset to lose in this inventory, so I can just try again. And I might as well show you the map. It shows some places that we haven't we can't go to yet, but it's really nice that they do. if you can change the leader in the middle of the dungeon because I'm pretty sure you do but it doesn't hurt to check yeah you just click the leader and I was also going to say that this dungeon looks like a combination of Thunder Wave Cave and Mount Steel as well as looking like curry specifically the kind you get at chip shops I like Natu by the way it's really cute oh my goodness I must say that's almost all my HP and then I realize no that's almost all of my level and Destiny Bond will make a Pokemon faint if it causes its opponent to faint, so... Oh wait, actually, a re or I guess it's a rebound move in this game. I don't know. I'm going to set Magneto to not 
go oh it's he's not going after foes anyway keep your distance i guess yes i've only defeated this now they give me barely any experience but they also these people give you barely any experience but they also take ages to kill what's up with that And also, why not is not the gimmick Pokemon like it is in the main games because it actually could use its regular attack until they decided to nerf that in um, Gates to Infinity, where it only does ev it only ever does five damage, and that's really stupid because it kind of makes it pointless. I don't want to be constantly hounded by uh, why not. That's a rare sentence. I wonder what why not would look like in live action because I saw Detective Pikachu yesterday, and it's one of those weird Pokemon. And do you have to have a certain number of items in your inventory in order for, uh, what's it called again? In order for the sludge trap to work. And also I wonder if Shadow Tag only works in the Pokemon used as a physical move. Because I know in Explorers they define a contact move as a move used in one tile of the opponent, as I learned the hard way in Surrounded Sea when I was playing replaying Explorers of Time once. But I don't, um, but obviously the concept of contact moves didn't exist until Gen 4 when they also introduced a physical special split. And now you can... I don't know what their thought process by making the dark type a special type was, by the way, because most dark type Pokemon have higher physical attack and most of them involve actual physical contact as well. I think their logic might have been... Oh, wait. I, I hope I can recruit this Beldum then, otherwise I'll be stuck. But I think Beldum doesn't have quite a low recruit rate. I'm thinking about the main series, door. But at least there's one... T hey, at least one HM I can get without um, being able to walk on water, so... I'm confused now. How inconvenient. And it also looked like Absol was doing the moonwalk just now. We're already Tempest. I wonder if I can brook Giraffe Is it in the, like... No, I can't. It's in this, like, one friend area. I want to say it's a safari, but it also has the Nidorans in it, so... Uh... Warp Orb. I don't think it depends on this was trouble. Oh, come on, it wasn't the same room. <sighs> Why am I having so much trouble here? I feel like I might used to use another team member at this rate. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Glygar can cross water too, so I'll use him. Or Batman, rather. Batman's at a decent level. I also know I once had a Teddy Ursa who, and I think Teddy Ursa was in this friend area and it's up there. Or maybe it's on a different one. I'll look at the list. I think. Wait, right, you can't check what Pokemon found in the- You can check- Actually, I won't look at this then. For some reason, I forgot that you couldn't check a Pokemon in the friend area by looking at the friend area. And this is the friend area I fought Giraffe Rig in Safari, but it doesn't. Oh, who's in Wild Plains? Oh, a Zigzagoon. That's the friend area I was thinking of when I said Safari, by the way. It just feels like um, the Magmites get stuck in a vicious cycle because they're really low leveled and I just never use them and so I can't really use them when I actually decide to because they just die instantly. I probably should have bought some items but oh well. I always get bought and brought confused by the way. Does anyone else have those words just get confused? Because I also always get like, keep spelling it significant to significant. Thankfully, there's an orange berry over there. Okay, you can come back now, Batman. Also, why can't in the main series I could just why can't they like run away? Just make the Pokemon immune to any trapping moves. I'm I know I've said this before, but it's kind of like one of those relics of those weird gimmicky gen 3 abilities that just kind of slapped on any Pokemon they felt like it and I hope I can recruit a Beldum here because once again I've lost my flyer because I don't it's really hard to recruit water you can't there aren't any water type Pokemon to recruit in the main story and I think I'm getting stuck in a vicious cycle now so I'm going to go look for an orange no I'm gonna go buy some items now
stronger seed, it basically reduces the Pokemon's belly to zero, and if it's um, not the lead, um, a leader Pokemon, it use it gets the Hungry Pal status. And the great thing is, is that only the leader has a belly, so that status effect can be really crippling. I wonder if the AI even knows how to use apples. Like if the Pokemon got infected with Hungry Pal, I bet it had already picked up an apple. Will it be able to eat it? Anyway, I've gotten three Sky Gummies out, so I'm going to go back to add Gligar to my party. And I'm also going to bring Magnet. Actually, I don't want to bring Magnet on because I don't want to waste my Reviver Seed. Unless I turn off the items. Uh, the, the IQ skill that lets Pokemon use items. Once I turned all of my leader's IQ skills off, where, uh, because I didn't realise um, what that would do. And I turned off the items one, and then my leader didn't get revived by a Reviver Seed. I also used to think that Pokemon actually holding a Reviver Seed in order to be revived. So make of that you will. Is it just me or the Pokemon are Pokemon more likely to gain stats from IQ skills in um in friend areas? And it's great that you can go two IQ skills, Batman. I don't know why I'm sounding sarcastic when I say that. I hope they're turned on by the fault. Anyway, I'm going to go let's go to Purgatory for a third time and hope nothing bad happens. And Tempest grew to level 22. I've leveled up. I feel empowered to fight disasters. I'm not really sure what gender Tempest is, by the way. If you have your own interpretation, please let me know. And I might as well teach Batman... Oh, he already knows Dick. Never mind. You can teach Pokemon same move multiple times this game, but I don't really see the point of it. Unlike when I was little, where I think I taught my Pikachu Thunderbolt twice. Not really sure why they decided to do that, but I do know that Shinx has a move called Lovely Kiss, which can send Pokemon to sleep, and I it, he used it on the previous floor, but it... um. Didn't affect, it missed on Absol. We seem to have lower accuracy than they do in the main games. But now I'm reminded of in like extra paradigm gamers with Klonoa Heroes, where it says it doesn't make sense for an action RPG to have uh, accuracy because you can see the attacks um, connecting and it says they miss anyway. Um, and I feel like you might say the same about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, even though it's not an action RPG. And I hope I can find the stairs soon. Told you this was purgatory. I feel like I might just give up at this rate and save this for another day and I've died again. I've only been able to get three floors into this dungeon. I think I'm just going to speed up montage it from now on. Oh, I just remembered I do have a Pokemon that's a water type. It's Kyogre. I'll just bring him instead and steamroll everything. I hope that will work. Or I can just accidentally leave the friend area I was in. Because um, there are limits on how many Pokemon of um, you can have in the team. It depends on their size. So I don't think I'll be able to have um, Gligar and actually I think I would because like if um, or, um, the most powerful Pokemon are size 4 and a team can have up to a total of 6 size stars so um, I wonder how else I might want to bring then in the Psychic Dungeon not really any of the Pokemon that are good against it S except do I have a bug type? yeah I have Barry the <laughs> I might just bring him as a joke Barry the oh, Weasel that's it I almost call it a Beavile its Japanese name is Beetle, like the Zelda character, so make a vowel, you will. But in every other character besides, in language besides English, um, Beetle from Zelda is called Terry. And yes, that was supposed to be a reference to B movie that I called him Barry. I, I might have already mentioned this, but oh well. And I actually think he's ready to evolve now, twice. Your horn is poisonous, you don't say. Unfortunately, there is no Mega B drill yet, so that's. Because obviously, because he's Gen 3. But nowadays, I don't really like how nowadays Pokemon spin-offs seem to be like... Pokemon seems to be focused on gimmicks and spin-offs seem to be focused on how to shoot that, that gimmick, in, gimmick into another genre. Like, they put Mega Revolution into a sliding puzzle game. I've never actually played Pokemon Shuffle, but it just doesn't sound very good in concept. And I get it all. It's kind of like to give each genre its own unique Pokemon flavour, but it just feels kind of like Pokemon games are all becoming the same. I've mentioned this in the Dog Island before. I felt this way for a long time, but I haven't really put a way to, found a way to articulate it. Scarf yet, but it's a really useful item. It basically passes on any negative stars condition to an next Pokemon. And keys, this is what we need to use to get the HMs. This is an instruction from a mechanic called Locked Doors. 
Actually, does it pass status effects or pretty much the effect of any move? Plus the effects of attacks and certain hostile moves as opposed... Isn't that redundant? I'm going to give it to Barry. It's really weird because, like, um, your party order is basically the reverse of um, what order you added the Pokemon in. And, but it doesn't seem like it's consistent with that, so I don't know. Oh. Oops. Wait a minute, does Kyoga have non-traitor? Because Tempest um, does, I think. No, she doesn't. Oh, it doesn't pass them all necessarily onto enemies. I wonder if non-traitor would make it so that Pokemon with um, holding a pass scarf wouldn't pass off effects to allies. Because I think I've fainted because of that before, and Barry has wasted my only reviver seed, so I think I'm going to send him back. And also, by the way, if you send a Pokemon um, back and you just recruited them, it basically unrecruits them. Bit stupid, I know. And the TMs, by the way, are on the 10th floor, the 15th floor, and the 20th floor. So, 20 floor, so if I survive that long, I will see you there. Also, I think they reused these assets for a dungeon in Explorers. Or maybe somewhere else in this game. And by the way, Meditite has an ability called Huge Power, which makes one of its free moves... Or its moves, um, in physical moves increase in power one third of the time, or maybe it's pure power. That's it. Huge power is one that Zoomerol has. I don't like it when ability there are two abilities that are basically the same but with different names. And I was a bit worried I was going to get killed by Mr. Mime there. Wouldn't that be a story to write on your gravestone? Hit. Is that the same, Mr. Mime? I'm going to eat an orange berry before this gets even any worse. But at least we've got the actually good. Uh, what's it called again? Sinister Woods music. Oh no. This looks bad. Ugh. Back to square one. I should start using restore points. <sighs> but I don't want to have a video where I just don't accomplish anything. So that's why I'm kind of annoyed about this. So I feel like I'm not going to bring anyone with me. It's just going to be O'Shawn on his own. I have decided that I'm going to make a restore point every five floors. I was glad that I ended up in the room with the stairs and the key, by the way. Apparently key and lock are the same words in Japanese, but I'm not actually sure how true this is. Are they like two the same character, but they often have two different meanings or something? I don't know. And by I've heard, I mean that the guy who made Legends of Localization once tweeted about it, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, the HM on the 10th floor, I just looked at my notes and to see that is Dive, which we already have, so I'm not really going to bother getting that. And now we're on the 10th floor, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to get Dive there, but if you've lost your Dive TM, you can get it, and it doesn't require water, unlike the other two TMs here. And by doesn't require water, I mean it doesn't require walking on water. I just wish that I could walk on water. I can't remember all the lyrics, too simple and clean, but that's one of them. Also, I remember, like, um, I got a PS4 just to play Kingdom Hearts, but then I just kind of abandoned it, partly because I just felt, like, stupid. Like, I, when I, I just kind of felt stupid for imagining that there would be a Cars world in Kingdom Hearts 3. This was back when I was at the, the end of being the Cars apologist. And partly because um, I accidentally spoiled myself on the whole game by watching a podcast. So, oops. I, will, I have gotten the most patience to play it a bit, but I just still, still like feel a bit awkward whenever I play it. It's like how I was with Spirit Tracks a long time ago. By the way, don't expect a Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Just putting that out there. And now the layout's changed again. And I just got Twist Band, which prevents my attack and special attack from going down. I'm not sure if there are any Pokemon at this point in the dungeon that even um, know any moves that could do that, but the Graphorix on the um, earliest floors could. And I'm getting hungry. Don't eat the hunger seed. That's. Hang on a minute. How does food make you hungry? This makes no sense. It's 
Nintendo logic, as Chuck O'Connor would say, but would say, but I prefer to say video game logic. And I'll create another restore point here. I um, think I might have created a restore point on a previous, on a non-five floor without realizing, without really thinking about it. But whatever the case, there's a HM on this floor, and that HM is um, surf. And dungeons that require us to get server are all across the sea. They're not underwater. That's dive and there's only one in the game. So. Oh my goodness, that cadaver had barely any HP left. It was the same one. Teleport locations in this game often aren't far from the original location. It's really weird. Oh, I don't need um, to walk on water to get this one. I think it's just... Um, even that must be for another... I'm going to eat this blast seed just because I don't want to be hungry. I'm also not going to run because that makes the belly go down quicker. That was a curly, that's cute. And now all of my removers have ran out of PP and I'm starving. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I wonder how long this dungeon is, by the way. Whatever the case, as soon as I get the last TM, I'll just get. An escape orb and leave. Because I don't want this to go video to go on for longer than it needs to. And my belly is empty now, and I don't want to get stun seed because stun seed won't permanently stun the leader, it'll just only for last of a set number of turns. But if that's the only way to not starve to death, then I guess I'll wait, I don't have that anymore. Oh dear. And I've run out of damaging moves. And we're stuck in a wrap chain now. To be honest, I'm kind of hoping that I step on a sticky trap to turn that um, hunger seed into grimy food. Because at least then I won't be running out of HP anymore. This is bad. I'm going to restore to my last restore. Return to my last restore point now that I know where the HM is. It's in the. I forgot to how to open that menu. Okay, now that I've got this again, I'm going to create a restore point and then I'm going to eat a stun seed so I don't starve to death. It will go off after a few turns and oh my goodness, this recording is going on for like 42 minutes at this point. I said 45, that's not correct. Oh, wait a minute, it might not... Um, I, I, I don't know if it actually would um, wear off over time for the leader, so I hope I find a Pokemon to use this blast seed on. Wobbuffet. How would you like to try my flame breath? I wouldn't use the dungeon layouts at turn when you get in the dungeon because as I've said before, speedrunners set dungeon layouts by quick saving. And this is my last damaging PP. Why did I not bring a max elixir? I don't know. I'm going to create a restore point here and hope I can find the stairs. I'm going to go a different direction this time and see if that works. Yeah, by the way, Pokemon can't explode in rain. And the reason why it's raining all the time is because Kyogre's ability is drought. I wish I had an orange berry. This is where the items completely disappeared now. Oh, well, I've only got like two more floors to go. Can I manage this? Kyogre's struggle against starvation. I might call that this episode that, actually. And I might faint from hunger now. Unless there's a... But thankfully there's a room here. I'm gonna... I don't really know if there's any way I can not die now. I think I'm gonna faint from hunger, so I'm just going to take my waterfall and leave. I'm not 
not sure what dungeons I can unlock in Fortnite 4, but at least I have it now. Next time on my extremely riveting Let's Play Program Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, we shall finally be getting the TM for... Surf. Until then, stay interesting! Thank <music> you.